Good evening and welcome back to the channel. We are here today at the Forbidden Corner and we're here for the Forbidden Corner Fright Night. Let's go. <laughs> if we went in through the mouth, well... No! Oh, I'm Jesus ah! Christ! Oh, f***ing hell! Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> We've certainly got the uh, the ambience already. It is misty as hell, and I tell you what, the drive up here was fun. We've actually arrived just a little bit early, so we've stepped on the inside to have a drink and just have a wander around. But they've got an absolutely beautiful little restaurant and cafe as well as a gift shop with a load of really nice things in so we're going to take you around and just have a see what they've got on offer got some little plushies of the iconic face tower and i like these um these little resins it's actually a money box but really nicely done nice. well, yeah they even do their own range of beers 3.99 each so someone's yeah. gonna uh, someone's gonna end up getting <laughs> one of those for christmas if you're watching this before you get it Try and guess if it's you. Little spooky street. These are really cool. Look at that. These are amazing. And price as well. I mean, that looks expensive. It's only $29.99. I am a big fan of them. some of these. They remind me a little bit of uh, Lord of the Rings and the Ents, the tree folk. But they've got lots of spooky little goodies in the gift shop for Halloween. But got a little Halloween section. I also like just how much they've decorated on the inside of here as well just to give it that Halloween autumn feel I like it it's my wife you're talking about quite mean a couple of exciting things firstly we've just had a word with Darren the manager fantastic name by the way and he's kindly agreed to let us film within the attraction so we're not going to do full walkthroughs of the attraction for you we're just going to show you clips on the inside but it gives you a flavor of what you can expect here but then the second exciting thing not only can we film inside there but we're actually the only people that are booked in for six o'clock so there are more groups but they've all booked from sort of seven o'clock onwards and just one small group at quarter past six i believe so there's just myself and lucy essentially going to have the attraction to herself so thank you so much to darren and the rest of the team for letting us film on the inside of here let's check out what forbidden corner fright nights has got on offer in 2024 oh what makes you apprehensive because we've no idea what to expect that's the best <laughs> best feeling surely <laughs> and the setting i mean if you knew what to expect it'd be pretty shit <laughs> it certainly would oh that's good please don't wet yourself no i'll try not to that doesn't go oh, down no. well at all oh. makes you look really stupid in fact it sounds very jolly it's not like jolly and hungry and remember these words we say if you can't get out Zari and I am in complete control of everything tonight. Well, I was. <laughs> Some of them ran amok a little bit. I can't guarantee anyone's safety this evening. Oh. Oh. It's Fido. Oh. <laughs> So she's a tasty one. And there we go, the face on the tower. That is pretty iconic. This is a really, really spooky. Oh God. If we went in through the mouth, well. No! Oh, shit, the bed. Jesus ah! Christ. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a sit down first. <laughs> Jesus wept. This is lovely. I mean, I have just shit my pants, but this is lovely. Oh, I reckon I hear other things too. There's a creepy bear. 
He says go. This is beautifully done. Oh, that'd be the bunny. Oh God, it's a scared bunny. Oh shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, they've chained up Bigfoot. That's harsh. It's beautiful. Yeah, we can go on there. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Oh God, this place is genuinely terrifying. Do you want to come and be my friend? Hey, don't, is your friend as terrifying as everyone else has been? No, I'm, I'm quite nice. All right, so I'll come and meet you. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that were an evil laugh and a half. This place works beautifully. No. Uh, oh. God. Scared by the horse, but yeah, works beautifully as a scare attraction. It's quiet. It's oh, eerie. How delightful! My wedding guests have arrived. Sebastian, look at that little horse. After excusing, he's having an evening meditation centre in this flotation tank. Uh, he's not doing too good, is Sebastian? You have seen my horrible. I know you've been <laughs> slutting around with Sebastian, you dirty little whore. No, do you hear what she said? She said if she couldn't have him, nobody could. I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> if there's a scare in here, I am getting wet. <laughs> Never trust the door. Oh, God. I'm, oh. I'll go this way. Stay with us. Oh, okay. Stay with us. How do you get out? <laughs> oh, now that's uh, unsettling. Eat, sorry. Oh, what? Oh. They all pray creepy as hell music as well when you touch them. Okay. Fat guy's got to feel up there. Oh, Jesus Christ! I got malleted. Oh. Have you seen Harold? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Have you seen Harold? I've not. No. I sent him out ages ago. Oh. I don't know what... He beat the shit out of me. <laughs> well, this would be the... Oh, shit! Are you sure shit. you haven't seen Harold? I'm sure. Yeah, I sent him out for fresh meat. You yeah. look chunky enough. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Couple of steaks out of you. A few more than few. Oh, tasty. <laughs> Shit the bed. Carol. Oh. Carol. <laughs> I am not sure whether that's the end of the attraction, but just look at that ambience behind there. And it's the same out in the field as well. It's completely covered in mist. Long walkways. This place is beautiful. But look at that pirate ship down there. Oh shit, the, I saw the gun. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Gee. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my, I didn't on my way out now. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. I'm off. Where do we go? <laughs> Look, escape. Oh, fucking hell. Must not have seen what happened with Kevin Spacey. I'm a bit stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, yeah. Now, now oh. before you go, we're <laughs> friends. We're friends. We are friends. Perfect. I need you to get a key for me. Okay. Okay. You know what key is? Yep. yep. Unlocks things. Oh, yes. Yes, you are clever. <laughs> so. I got a new best friend. Well, I need to go find a grave digger. 
and get a key. Someone. Oh, yes, someone called. <laughs> Shit, I'm a scare. Uh, have you got a key, Mr. Gravedigger? Oh, can I have a key, please? I think I was off. Try the mausoleum. Mausoleum. I hope that's not the last person that asked for the key. Oh, fucking hell! Jesus Christ! I see some keys. Mausoleum. It is. Wow. And some steps. <laughs> You didn't give it to me. You didn't give it to me. You said we were friends. I honestly, we are friends. I can try to bring you another way if you want. Next year. Yes. What? She's a little bit pissed. Good evening, kind sir. This way. Follow the lights. Someone else just got shot. Oh, fucking hell! Jesus Christ! Came out of a bush. Oh, he's not done well on inside, like. And how oh. was that for you? Oh, fantastic! In the most terrible way ever. I mean. You've come back with all your limbs, which I'm not so sure is a good thing. That means that other people may lose theirs. Come back with all of my limbs, but not quite the full contents of my bowels anymore, <laughs> to be fair. So. Oh, I am always happy to hear that. Always happy to hear that. <laughs> Got actual scythe as well. Right, guys, so we're both, before we get on the inside, that was the walkthrough of the Forbidden Corner fright nights and oh my god that was flipping amazing without trying to swear too much obviously it's a big beautiful area as it is anyway it's the forbidden corner it's meant to be mystic it's meant to be eerie it's meant to be creepy but adding the walkthrough in there with some of the actors some of the unique scares and the way they managed to scare you i got more scares here tonight than i've got anywhere else all season it was absolutely beautifully done some of the unique scares in there with the guns some of the places that they were coming from just were it was utterly brilliant my heart is still pounding from some of the scares and the way that they've used the landscape around here and all of the theming that's already here as well it was just extraordinary i'm gonna put my finger on it now and sorry to everyone else but this has easily been my favorite scare maze or scare event of the year it was absolutely phenomenal now off the top of my head i can't remember the prices but i do highly suggest that you go online grab some tickets and get yourself down here now we essentially had the walkthrough to herself the batching was phenomenal the scares were brilliant i really couldn't recommend it enough what do you think it was absolutely fantastic beautifully done and the estate is beautiful anyway the whole area and all of forbidden corners a daytime attraction to come and visit is beautiful but they've used everything here every nook and cranny every corner of the attraction they've used it really well themed really well done yeah from the yeah. moment you step through that mouth um and the the places that it's just it, it is almost already designed for a scare maze the locations that they can scare you from the things that they can do with it they didn't even need to add that much theme into it for it to be perfect the lighting that they've got and the way they've used it all the way down to draw you around it the story that they've got entwined in all of the scenes it really was fantastic favorite scare event of the season 100 
now we're going to go into the cafe and we're going to see what food they've got on offer afterwards uh, but yeah highly recommend it i'll give you some final thoughts once we've had a look through and see what there is on offer to eat so you can grab some uh, pizza pepperoni margarita some hot dogs with or without onions and lots of different wines proseccos and just for lucy a mulled wine let's go grab something to eat in the cellar yeah. behind the coffee something's going to be there definitely no. so just in to get some food afterwards absolutely giant hot dog i mean giant i don't know how i'm gonna fit that in and a lovely mulled wine that's for for lucy uh, but the two hot dogs the mulled wine and a bottle of sprite only 13 pound so extremely reasonable priced i mean this itself would have been what 10 pound at most scared events so really good on the pricing as well that is us done for forbidden corner fright night 2024 and i have to say what an incredible event helped massively by the ambience out here up in the Yorkshire Dales. It's completely misty. You can't see anywhere in front of you. And the lighting that they've got already here at the Forbidden Forest works so well for a scare attraction. But I've already let you know my thoughts when I came out. We've hung around, we've had some food. The food here was great and incredibly cheap. They've got a fantastic sort of area at the end where you can come and get some merchandise. Sorry, just stepped back inside the car. It started raining and I don't want to get the camera equipment wet. But yes, as I say, fantastic use of theming. It is the Forbidden Corner after all. It's crazy and it's kooky anyway. The lighting here on an evening is just beautiful. The way that it was lit down the pathways with the lanterns flickering, the lights going on and off, um, different coloured uses of lights and smoke did really, really well. The scares were unique, came from all kinds of different locations. The kind of story interwoven throughout it all was really, really good. It's definitely somewhere that I fully recommend coming. Once again, thank you to Darren for allowing us to film within the attraction. We did end up going around with one other gentleman. Um, I thought it was just a member of the general public coming around with us. It turns out it was actually like the owner, the director of the entire thing. Um, and we had a fantastic time with him. It was really good on the way around. Um, really great place you've all got here. Thank you again for, for having us. This is the best place we have done all season. It's new, it's unique, it's fantastic, and I highly recommend coming. Anyway, if you've liked this video, please hit that like button. If you are planning to come or you've been by any point through this season, let us know in the comments down below what you think. And please smash that subscribe button. We're moving towards the end of scare season now and we'll be looking to go all over to show you around the UK for Christmas. So smash that subscribe button. It really does help us. With that being said, we shall catch you on the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.